Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. We are here with a very interesting video, which is the third house from Saturn. Very, very, very important. Well, why is it important? I've already made a video on the planets in second house from Saturn, how to see them and read them. So if you have not watched it, then you will find it in this playlist itself. Please go and watch that. But the third house from Saturn is a very special house because it receives 100% aspect okay of saturn himself so basically we know saturn aspects the third seventh and tenth from wherever it sits okay now when we say saturn aspects the third seventh tenth uh we mean as per astrology that it receives hundred percent aspect okay because every planet aspects the other houses also <clears throat> but the aspect is not 100 percent but with the third seven tenth it is 100 percent hundred there's no doubt on it which means what does this mean 100 percent aspect this actually means that the planet is uh, trying to influence that particular house and uh, the planet is completely trying to uh, put the natural traits of itself into that particular house and also the planet is desiring something in that particular house okay so now whenever you are uh, seeing all these videos for example what's going on in third house from saturn second house from saturn etc you need to understand that we are not just trying to individually uh, study things like for example okay here there is you know uh, mars in the third house from saturn so as you can see saturn is here mars is here so we are not just trying to see that because that does not yield any result okay so at the end what are we trying to do whenever we are studying a placement we are trying to come to a conclusion <laughs> the conclusion is very important okay and for coming to the conclusion you need to see and check the overall chart okay <clears throat> otherwise you will make blunders if you just make blanket statements <clears throat> so what is the third house from saturn see what is the third house from lagna okay what is the third house the third house is the house of courage it's the house of initiations and new beginnings okay so basically the third house from saturn will tell you areas that you want to begin in your life okay because saturn is the karaka for the 10th house and he's also the atma karaka of the dashamsha chart so he is a very important planet when it comes to your primary karakas which manifest you could say in terms of your profession <laughs> or in general it could be like you know uh, things that you do for 8 to 10 to 12 hours a day it may be profession it could be hobbies or anything anything that you are doing seriously okay over a period of time in a disciplined fashion that is what saturn represents okay not just your job or business <coughs> now the third house from saturn is very important because the third house from saturn will tell you <coughs> what which are those areas in life where you must start something new otherwise there will be hardly any growth in that area okay but again as i said you have to see the overall chart and only then come to a conclusion so for example let's take this chart this is a very beautiful chart as you can see here what's going on so first things first where is saturn saturn is in the 11th house and if you see one two three if you go three houses you see mars is here okay so that means saturn is aspecting mars and where is the first uh, where is the third house from saturn it is the lagna itself okay this is the first house so that means saturn is aspecting uh, the lagna which means something to do with health or uh, your own appearance your image your uh, status in society okay your aruda basically something to do with how people perceive you or something to do with how how you think in life okay all these things are controlled by the ascendant these things come under the lagna so that means something related to these houses has to undergo some new beginnings or you have to show some courage and start something new which means if you have 
uh, some health issues for example then it could happen that you are trying so many things but you have to start something new you have to do something unconventional which uh, nobody else has done before <coughs> then it will work for you okay now i'm not saying that if you have saturn in 11 so it aspects your first house anybody and everybody you will not be able to take uh, allopathy or ayurveda or homeopathy or you have to start your new branch of medicine no i'm not saying that what i'm trying to say is that within the spectrum of uh, allopathy ayurveda homeopathy whatever is there uh, it could still work but in a different way okay so therefore wherever the third house from saturn is on the basis of your lagna okay so here from the lagna it is the lagna itself because the this is the first house itself <coughs> there you have to behave in a bit unconventional way otherwise things may not work out for you but now we uh, start analyzing the chart so first of all we see what is going on here what's the lagna nakshatra here you see it is shava nakshatra okay so shava nakshatra <coughs> is ruled by the moon as you know right and where is moon moon is in the uh, eighth house uh, is in uttar falguni nakshatra okay now uh, for simplicity i will assume uh, the planets are in the same uh, houses as in the signs but always remember for houses you need to go and check the bhava chart okay so but for simplicity and uh, ease of explanation I'm, I'm just assuming that moon is here in the eighth but uh, if you are uh, knowledgeable and smart enough in astrology <laughs> you know very well where moon is so write it down in the comments where is moon which house is moon placed in okay i would love to see that now what's going on here moon is in purva falguni nakshatra okay now shravan nakshatra is the nakshatra of silence and uh, it it is a bit of uh, should i say introvert nakshatra and purva falguni is a very extroverted nakshatra okay it loves to do show off and uh, it loves to keep telling others about what you are doing yourself and all, also it's in the sign of leo okay <coughs> Uh, Shravana is a very meditative nakshatra and Purva Falguni is a very creative nakshatra. Okay, so that means uh, this person will have a mixture of uh, both Shravan and Purva Falguni which is like uh, will be introvert sometimes and if required can be very extrovert sometimes. Okay, <coughs> and then where is the Lagnesh? So here the Lagnesh himself is Saturn okay so where is saturn place saturn is placed in the 11th house again if you are smart and you know please tell where saturn is but for now let's assume he's in the 11th house in the sign of scorpio of course in anuradha nakshatra <coughs> and anuradha is again lauded by saturn himself okay so now the lagna lord is going into the 11th house so this is a yoga for uh, this is one of the best yogas for success name fame power position okay <clears throat> very 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 important very 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 critical so this is showing that the person <clears throat> will be successful in uh, most of the things that the person does or, or the person will want to uh, do things in a way that uh, they get success okay so this is very 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 important extremely important now let's look at the other placements so we see third from saturn there is mars okay so mars is there which means there has to be some new beginnings because it's the third from saturn but there will be some struggles there could be anxiety there could be um, there could be high blood pressure and all this because the first house is associated <coughs> now if you see which houses does mars lords in the chart so mars is the ruler of aries so here aries is in the fourth house and mars is the dispositor of none other than saturn okay so that means uh, something to do with the fourth house and the eleventh house is there okay so this is a very 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 strong chart because uh 
there is a parivartan yoga between the lagnesh which is saturn and mars which is the 11th lord okay so the lagnesh is in the 11th and the 11th lord is in lagna very 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 fantastic placement <coughs> but now mars is also the fourth lord so fourth lord is in lagna so education something to do with the mother is there but this is receiving the aspect of saturn and there has to be some new beginnings okay uh, and it could be something to do with the health because it's the first house so uh, this person uh, has some uh, terminal disease which has come from the mother's side you know it's like hereditary uh, now the mother does not have it uh, but somebody in her family has had that disease okay <clears throat> so just because the fourth lord is there uh, you can't say that oh it will be the mother uh, herself who will give the disease <clears throat> uh, through the genes no not like that but somebody in uh, her family can have it as in his case <clears throat> and uh, because this is mars so uh, it is something to do with the uh, fire okay now i won't go much into details of what that disease is and uh, what is the um, what what uh, implications that disease has <coughs> but what happened is uh, if you see the dashas this person is born in 86 and uh, till the time this sun dasha was going on okay till the time sun mahadasha was there <coughs> uh, this person tried uh, his best to cure this disease but it kind of did not work okay uh, because uh, this person uh, has to initiate something new because the lagna is the third from saturn <coughs> but now the question is when will uh, this new thing begin okay that's something which you need to identify so wherever saturn is aspecting uh, whichever planet uh, or if saturn himself is in dasha or saturn uh, is conjunct a planet and that planet's dasha comes then that period that mahadasha could start something new okay so for example here in this chart if you see saturn is aspecting mars then there is no planet in taurus which is seventh and if you see 10th from scorpio is <coughs> is the sign of leo right so moon is receiving the aspect of saturn so now what is happening is during moon dasha when moon dasha started for this person now uh, this person went towards uh, alternative medicine alternative uh, like you know uh, so something similar to homeopathy but not exactly but something similar again saturn is involved moon is homeopathy saturn shows you know uh, ayurveda and all this so something to do with homeopathy not exactly <coughs> and this person started and the treatment was a bit unusual it was like trial and error and also if you see in the original third house this person has rahu so again the unconventional element is there in revati revati is another nakshatra of healing okay and receiving the aspect of none other than the sun okay which is again the dispositor of the moon so <coughs> a very interesting uh, to see how the disease came from where and also uh, how can this person get uh, treated okay but the good thing is the chart is very powerful he has a very 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 strong 10th house you see there are two planets one planet is in uh, Mahapurush Yoga like you know Venus is in Mahapurush Yoga and Mangal also <coughs> so Mangal is giving Ruchak Mahapurush Yoga as you can see and Venus is giving Malavya Mahapurush Yoga because both are in Kendra either in exaltation uh, one is in exaltation and the other is in Multricorn so the chart is extremely strong and the person is uh, now gradually coming out of it okay and uh, in my opinion uh, when Rahu Dasha starts uh, the healing will be much better and the person will be able to come out of all this okay uh, but till the time mars dasha is there for the next 
four years there will be some <coughs> issues because this uh, Mars is again in Lagna and yeah if you see there are some other issues also with Mars uh, can you point it out let me see if you can point it out in the comments and tell me what's going on with Mars but again at the end you need to understand nothing can happen without the blessings of God and how do you see God's blessings in a chart well we see that through Jupiter so you see this Jupiter is sending the aspect to moon right <coughs> so because of this what is happening is in moon the mahadasha's beginning this person found good guidance okay good gurus good counselors good teachers good doctors <coughs> and then this person could move ahead okay so without god's blessings nothing is possible in this world uh, either materially or spiritually okay so now the person has become very spiritual and uh, the person visits spiritual communities and therefore uh, now this person is gradually fighting the disease and able to come out of it okay so thank you very much for your patience if you like this video please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and comment your thoughts below what do you think this person is doing uh, in his profession uh, what do you think uh, if, if if this person is married or not how is this person's married life uh, and career and overall happiness in general so please write it down in the comments i would love to hear from you okay and for consultations from me you can always go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him thank you